don't engage about the past. Doesn't matter for a moment. You can do it also, if you choose. For a moment. When I'm finished, you can start pick up past again. But for a moment, while you're here with us today, uh, don't be remembering all oh, this. Because this habit of mind also to go either back to things that you enjoy or things you don't enjoy. So for the moment, things either that you enjoy or you don't enjoy or you don't choose to be there, just leave aside for a moment. Make a determine I won't engage with that and I won't bring this into the satsang. Leave that for now. We're in a higher stage. And any thoughts about the future? Hmm? Like what I'd like to do in the future, where I want to live, and in the next two years I want to open my own business. Don't think about that. Just now. Don't hold on to any thought at all. So that you are empty of thoughts about the future and of the past. And it's easy, just like now. It's very easy. It's okay. I choose not to do that. And as I say in promise, at the end of our little exercise, you can go back and pick them up. Leave them aside. So past, like what you have done before, or yes, I studied yoga and meditation for it doesn't matter. Leave. Leave. Leave everything to be empty, empty, empty. Silence empty from past. Future, yes, I want to I I hope the world is gonna be like this. I want to this and I want to my children to go to college and leave everything. Don't do anything. So only now, present moment. And in present moment, don't engage with any thought or any sense of who you have been conditioned to believe you are. Say, so, okay, for the moment, uh, Babaji said to leave this. I leave it now. So empty of all the shapes, memories, pictures. Thoughts, just by your choice. Empty, empty, empty. And even the sense, okay, now what we're going to do? No, don't touch next. No next, no past, no future, no present. Empty, empty. As though somehow, by grace, everything that you have experienced, all your attachments and memories and everything, all your ideas, all your concepts, all your knowledge and so on, has just been suspended for a bit. Now, now what? Your body is still here, the senses are still here. They are not troubled by themselves. Everything is here. Okay. But you are not engaged with them. Nothing at all. And I am asking that you do this. I want to ask you something. If everything is taken out, everything is taken away, then there must remain that which cannot be taken away. What can that be? Don't answer. Just be aware. Everything that has a name and a shape, that had a beginning or an end, none of these things, leave them alone. They are just like the dust of the mind, empty. What remain? Is there any shape? Is there any shape to that remain? Or is there any belief? Whatever is here now, is it male or female? The space. Does it have any colour or design? Whatever is here now. Empty, empty.
Does it have any seasons like summer, spring, autumn? Whatever it is, are you creating it? No. Are you sustaining it? No. I would like to ask this, which I am not going to give a name, or just say whatever it is that exists. Can it fade? Can it disappear? Well, obviously not, because it did not appear. Did it appear? Please look. Is there some edge or some boundary beyond which it does not exist anymore? Can it be sick or depressed? Can it be sad? Or even happy? No. Was it born? Can it die or end? Stay as you are. Can it be lost? Can it belong to anybody? Can it be angry? Can it grow? Can it disappear? Did you create it? Are you in a state of hypnosis? No. Does it have an inside or an outside? Now I can ask you, what must you do to reach it? Is it apart from you, in the distant? Does it have foreground or background? Is it above or below? Can it be separated? Why does it not take time for you to research these responses? Because why? 
Everything is just here. This knowing is not in a library or in university. You know this because what you are aware of is yourself. Without pictures, without beginning or end, it is not a shape, it is not merely a mood, it is not placed somewhere like outside or inside. You cannot be sick. You cannot be crazy. You cannot be lost. Who is keeping it here? Is there a place where it is not? This is the Self. It is not perceived with these eyes or through these senses. It is not this way that it is known. It is not imagined. It is not a belief, but a direct knowing. Inseparable, indivisible, without beginning or end. It is not the senses, it is not the mind. All these come and go. Now one more thing. Now you are aware. Try and get rid of it. Actually try to lose it. Is it your possession? Is there you and it, or is it the same? So I leave you with that for a moment. Or I say, I leave you with yourself. Can your thinking get rid of it? Can your moods hide it? When moods and feelings, sensations come, where are you? 
apart from it. Gradually, more and more, as you come somehow to verify this, the mind will lose its seeming power to confuse you. Or that you become distracted. You will know, beyond conceptual knowing, I am this. You are this. You don't have to be for and against anything in this world, if you know you are this. All your expressions will be blessed by this knowing. Is this an experience which is passing? Is it an experience, or is it that in which experiencing happens? Some of you, having heard and seen this, will be drawn more and more to the heart of this. Others we will see, if by habit the attention keeps drifting out into the field of the mind and the world. I bless that grace will continue to shine within your heart that this knowing, seeing, being becomes so established as the very root of your own being, that in this life we transcend the limitations of personhood, and find that alone which is eternal and everlasting. Sometimes you may find yourself saying, Ah, I got it, I got it, I got it, I got it. Only to be followed by, I've lost it, I've lost it, I've lost it, I've lost it. I want to tell you that that sense, I have got it and I've lost it, are not real. You are it. And I would encourage and recommend to those of you who are not so familiar with the invitation, and those of you who are, to listen to the invitation each time, as though you are hearing it for the first time. Otherwise, the mind will say, Yes, I know what is coming. Yes, yes, yes. You start to answer before the question is asked. And this is your mind. And in these subtle ways, the mind slips in, and becomes a part of your being. The mind, in its normal functioning, in its practical functioning, in its common sense functioning, is perfectly fine. But mind, in its psychological functioning, in its functioning as identity, personhood, and judgment of the world, is illusory. Little bit by and by, you will find the right balance, because grace is with you. I say this with total confidence, 
knowing that the whole purpose of existence, the highest purpose of existence, is to discover this to your eternal joy. And each one should feel praise and gratitude to the Supreme Lord of the Universe. Thank you. And that I am finally awakening from this sleep of ignorance. And thank you for your blessing. Thank you for absorbing me. Absorb me totally into my understanding. Because wherever you take me, I find I am always here.